Hello everybody, welcome back to another reading. Today we're taking a look at the case of Jody Hoosentrudes, who was a local news anchor in her town of Mason City. Um, she was supposed to show up for an early shift on June 27th of 1995, and they actually called her because she was running late. She told them that she was going to be there in about 20 minutes, and when she failed to show up, uh, they sent some cops over to check what's going on with her. And the police found that there had been a sign of struggle on the parking lot. Uh, her shoe was there, one of her shoes. Her blow dryer, her makeup, her hairspray and earrings were spread about the place. Except they didn't find her purse or her briefcase. And of course, no sign of Jody herself. Uh, neighbors have reported all sorts of sounds uh, being heard either during the night or that morning. Uh, a man banging on a door telling uh, Jody to open up. Uh, there was also a scream heard from a woman, which may or may have not have been from a reenactment that was taking place somewhere else, uh, I believe a civil war reenactment. Uh, that was somewhere nearby. Uh, there was also uh, somebody who said that they had heard her screaming uh, to either a John, Don or Sean to stop it. So these are all uh, the clues that we have so far. Now, being a newscaster meant that she had a lot of people watching her and uh, some of those were not quite the most stable and there have been a few suspects throughout the years. Uh, the most suspicious one is actually a John Vincise who I believe also worked with her. I'm not entirely sure about that, but they had been in contact before and he was also the last person to see her alive. And it was also one of the first people to show up at this scene when the cops were investigating to see what was going on, etc. like that, which is always kind of suspicious because uh, we don't want to, of course, make any assumptions here. But it is a fact that people who committed a certain crime tend to then go back to the scene of crime to see what's going on, maybe ask the cops how much they know and stuff like that. So it didn't really look good for John in that case. And since he was also the last person to see her alive, that makes it even more suspicious. I read somewhere that Jody had actually complained to her family about John, that she did not feel safe around him, but I cannot confirm that. Either way, we don't know where Jody is. After all these years, she has been declared uh, deceased, even though nobody has ever been found and nobody's officially been indicted with her murder. And so we are using uh, the tarot today to take a look at that case. We're going to start off with the Modern Witch Tarot, which is currently already on the table, which is uh, this one. And for further questions, we're moving on to the Urban Tarot, which is this one, which has the slightly more modern uh, images as well. More modern than Modern Witch Tarot, go figure. So, as per usual, I'm just going to start shuffling the deck, and when I have enough cards to fill the screen, uh, we're going to stop and take a look at what we've got. So, without much further ado, let's just go. Okay, so we have quite a lot of talk. Uh, it's almost like the battle between uh, wands and cups, at least in the top row we have some wands and cups energy heavily represented. But anyway, we start off with the hermits and the two of wands and the five of cups. Now, hermits energy, of course, is trying to retreat from the world to maybe make up your mind, etc. Um, the two of wands as you can see is somebody planning some type of move and then we have the five of cups which is crying over spilled milk now this feels particularly if i look at the rest but we'll get to that in a moment it feels like somebody 
planning something, maybe having spent some time uh, meditating on something, perhaps not literally, but just like mulling things over in their mind. Uh, they are, once again, I'm focusing on the laptop that's being closed. It seems a bit like we would these days say parasocial relationship, like somebody may have been watching her. So it kind of seems like somebody may have had such a parasocial relationship with her and decided to make a move, which is why we have the two of ones here and then found that they were not as receptive to the idea and that being Jody as the person who came to see her it looks as though so this almost looks like somebody who was an admirer uh, who decided to take a brave step so to speak to try and confess their love perhaps or at least try to get some type of relationship going because we are looking at the cups here which always a lot to do with emotions and they were rejected and they did not take that very well Matter of fact, we see the Five of Pentacles also in reverse, which is like an emotional bankruptcy or usually like a physical bankruptcy because it is Pentacles, but it can also be a morale, a loss of morale. And next to that is the Four of Cups, which is not wanting to make a choice between the options that are before you. And then we see the Page of Wands and on the very end, the Knight of Cups. So this almost looks like a second attempt. Let me grab a four in this case try to get as many cards on the screen as possible today so yeah we have here the five pentacles so this really feels like rejection and really mulling that over almost like a retreat but uh, not really accepting defeat because this four of pentacles or four of pentacles four of uh, cups person is ignoring all other suggestions of actions or things that they could do or they may have walked away thinking, well, actually, there is no other option. And then we have here the Page of Wands, which is somebody who tends to be very rash with their actions. And in this case, probably even uh, negative in the sense that we do see the Knight of Cups right next to that. So I think this is attempt number two and perhaps also a no going back attempt. Knight of Cups is somebody who focuses very much on their own emotions and focuses in solely on that, not really what anybody else thinks about that. So combined with the Page of Wands, I do feel like this is a person who only really looks at what's good for them and not necessarily so much at the person whom they're focusing on. Like sometimes you have an object of affection and they have to basically do what you want them to do because they fit in that picture in your mind in that way. And if they happen to have their own sets of feelings and thoughts about the stuff that you're confessing to them, then that doesn't fit. So it's that single-minded focus, single-minded affection that we're looking at here. Next row, we have the Seven of Pentacles, the Three of Swords, and the Six of Swords. So Seven of Pentacles is normally like watching things grow that you've planted, like all the seeds that have sprung up from the ground that you planted previously and taken care of coming to fruition, like it's almost time but it's the opposite rather so this may be again feeling the loss i think this is once again the rejection because we do see here the three of swords which may have led uh may be pointing towards perhaps jody having this person at their door confessing their love to her and she's like actually uh, i'm not single i'm sorry kind of like that type of betrayal almost you can see uh the very dramatic black substance leaking out of the heart uh, followed by the Six of Swords in reverse, which I always tend to see as a kidnapping thing, particularly in the type of readings that I do for this channel. It's often a kidnapping situation. Um, almost like if I can't have you, nobody else will, because it is, of course, followed by this news or following this news of there being potentially somebody else in her life whom is not them. So it feels like a loss of their investment, and then they decide to take what they feel is theirs regardless. Then we have a fairly complicated story following that. We have the world in reverse, which I always feel like secreting somebody away. We have the Ace of Pentacles here, which is a new gain of some sort. Then the Chariots, a lot of movement. And then there's the Ace of Cups in reverse, which is, I think, a third and perhaps final rejection. If I look at these four, 
particularly with the cards that lead up to this point, it seems as though they take her away from the world where people can't find her and they feel like this is a new break, a new opportunity to get exactly what it is that they wanted. Like, okay, and we have here the Seven of Pentacles, it's in reverse. Uh, oh, uh, you thought that you could take away all of the stuff that I've worked on, but guess again, I have uh, an ace up my sleeve. We're going to do exactly what I wanted to do and that is also compared or accompanied with a lot of extra movements perhaps also physical movements um once again they have a wands these two have wands or she has two wands and this one has a wand so that's like action and also action ability so they probably decided to just take her wherever they wanted and perhaps thought that by doing so, by taking her to a new environment that they could convince her that they were actually the right person for her. But at the very end we see here the Ace of Cups, which is in reverse, so I think that plan also failed. So, so far it looks like uh, somebody who was rejected and who thought that they may be able to have a relationship with her based on whatever it is that they thought she was like based on what they saw of her on the news and whatever other publication she may have been in doesn't even have to be a stranger because it could also just be somebody who watched her perhaps from the editing room or who may have worked with her but never really confessed their feelings until now and probably it was a little bit too much for her to handle and she did not agree with those feelings so that led to rejection and that led to this other person uh, feeling very rejected not just rejected but like almost obsessive to try and make things come true for them regardless which then ultimately seems to have led to a kidnapping situation where they thought that if they just moved her from the world that she was familiar in that they could have her all to themselves but that also did not work out so let's see what happened after that because so far we're at the kidnapping section. Okay, the deck is not very talkative today, but we have two cards here regardless. We have here the Knight of Cups again which we already saw on the end of the first uh, lineup. And if you look at this card, we've had this card before in a similar situation, you can see that this person is very charming or at least trying to be very charming. And there is something in this person's cup, which I feel is the stinger basically. So after they decided to take her out of her situation, they uh, persist that they are the best person for them. We see here the Three of Cups in reverse. So even if they spend a lot of time pretending to be this great person, it didn't work because the harmony that he was looking for and the jovial uh, circumstances did not come to fruition. Also, we see the fire in the background. Do you see the fire in the background? Like the place is on fire and he's still trying to charm her. So it's kind of like the same situation that she may have been in, in the sense of uh, they perhaps didn't even notice in what a terrible situation Jody was at that point. And they just kind of kept trying to be this charming guy, even though she may, may have been super panicked, stressing out. Uh, he may have seen her perhaps smiling because the person over there that he's talking to does look as though they're smiling but the thing is with a lot of women in particular if they're in a situation with a dangerous person they tend to try and be agreeable in an attempt to get out of there and I don't think that this person recognized that so they may have had a very singular focus and they're not very good at reading people so this might be somebody who has some mental issues or at least some social issues. Yeah. Oops, there we go. Oh, here's the card that we had initially right at the start, the one that I showed as a demo. And in the same position as well, the dancer once again is in reverse. 
this would be the page of wands in reverse uh page of wands we already had the page of wands over here so the page of wands energy once again is back just like the knight they're both back so this is the second or third time that they're trying to just do whatever in order to fix this situation for them but not for her necessarily because they wanted this vision this dream that they had of her and them together then we have the two of wands here we had the two of wands earlier as well we have another a repeat card in other words uh, this one is actually called dominion which is interesting and i do feel like um normally two of wands is travel and if you look at this two of wands it's a little bit more conquering in a sense dominion is having a rule over something and in this case they may have tried to make that a total ruling over somebody i mean she was there and i don't think she had anything to say about the situation uh nothing that she could influence other than her own behavior so looks as though they tried to keep her under their spell for a long time then we have the universe here which is the fool and it's in reverse so definitely not just doing whatever they had a plan and they were sticking to it they did not leave anything up to chance so this could also mean that they were very careful uh, perhaps also with uh, how they moved when they were not with jody perhaps also in the public eye that type of uh, movement that they were careful with what they said and what they did and then we have the aeon which is judgment in reverse so this could mean avoiding justice or judgment rather avoiding justice as well but because they ultimately did avoid justice at least up until now they have and uh, you can kind of see here in the reflection that the person who is standing there has a different outfit on compared to the person who is actually touching the monuments so this is once again also hiding in plain sight looks as though also drawn to look at the different names on the walls like they may have tried all sorts of different uh personalities different names different identities they may have tried to move around in order to avoid suspicion like not staying in the same place for too long now let's see what actually happened to jody because so far we're seeing a lot of from the perpetrator's point of view how they are trying to navigate the world oh there we go uh knight of swords the game master so she apparently felt like she was being played very much and you have the ten of wands as well oppression well that pretty much speaks for itself so she is being kept uh was being kept and heavily controlled in the meantime doesn't need too much explanation there what followed next oh that one slid off okay oh. And that one's on the floor all right let's look at this one first oops so the seven of pentacles is back again another repeat card so even though we had full control over her he still did not manage to get what he wanted and i could also see this from jody's perspective that she had plans and hopes and dreams for her own life that would never come to fruition and she definitely understood that at that point particularly because of how dark this card is uh, let's see what fell on the floor uh science so the six of swords again so once again we are looking at another abduction scenario and i feel like because we're looking at an x-ray in the background uh and six swords pointing towards a heart with a snake on top of it that this was the time that they were moved physically and this looks like a post-mortem uh movement that was made so perhaps after this once again feeling like they're not going to be able to get what they want from jody uh she had to go as is often the case with abductors when they don't get what they want they get rid of the abductee so this was a movement to move her body i feel like so let's see um that would be the end for her I'm going to go back to the Modern Witch Tarot to see if we can ever find out more about this case. Are we going to find her body at all? Let's see what we get for that. Oop. Nine of Wands in reverse. Somebody is tired of fighting. Uh, it could be that somebody is tired of keeping a secret as well. Um, 
could just also reference the people who are trying to solve the case they're just like getting a little bit hopeless i do believe that they were trying to look into john moore because he had several cars registered and there was something about that but anyway there's definitely a wariness here and maybe the fact that they're looking back into john has made john very wary i don't know not accusing anybody obviously but still uh so somebody is very tired and perhaps tired of keeping the secrets or perhaps tired of keeping up the uh charade once again we have the ten of wands so we are still feeling very exhausted in this case it's in reverse so they may be very tired of carrying a certain burden with them and i think it's internalized with them so somebody is very tired i think this may point towards somebody being aware of who it is and perhaps keeping the secret for them but they're starting to lose their patience let's see if we can get anything about that are we going to see this case being solved okay six of cups in reverse six of cups is normally a melancholy card it could also be a card referencing somebody who uh, has known them since a very long time and that may also have been the reason why they were able to carry a secret for them but perhaps that uh bond from before is weakening and perhaps no longer outweighing what it is that they're doing for this person what else can we find out nine of cups okay so it's definitely working on them emotionally so we're seeing somebody who is very tired physically and mentally and emotionally as well i think that uh it weighs on her mind very heavily and they want to speak about it like if you are aware of something like that i don't know what the bond is with this person it could be a family member and initially you would probably want to protect them somehow but after a while your conscience will probably start to weigh on you and i think that this is what we're seeing with this person could be the actual perpetrator but i kind of don't think so particularly because of the six of cups that they have this connection to the perpetrator and they're unable to uh honor that connection that bonds because they are just being worn out the sun but it's in reverse so there's still some darkness to be had so we might be in the dark for some time yet what else do we have here about the camera sorry and the ten of swords which is a very dramatic card which kind of points to the darks before the dawn uh scenario however it is in reverse i think that this also is pointing towards um just feeling a certain sense of hopelessness like oh this is never gonna be finished ever we're not gonna find out anything there's too little evidence there's no body there's nothing so just worn out tired and maybe also wondering about their consequences for themselves if they were to come out with it now is what it looks as though so i don't think we're going to see anybody coming forward because i feel like they even though they're tired they also feel like they are now partially responsible because they have kept it a secret for so long so they're going to keep hiding it even though it's wearing them down and they feel like they would be very negatively affected if they were to step forward i see this as somebody who's going to take this to their grave and maybe right before they pass away they might say something you know it happens sometimes somebody carries a secret and then right before they pass away they feel like well it doesn't matter anymore i might as well say it that type of situation i think that's what we're looking at over here unless that new evidence with uh john and his vehicles points towards something i don't think we're going to end up seeing the perpetrator coming forward or this person who may be keeping a secret on their behalf so that is what i'm seeing for jody Husentrude. i hope you found that interesting in any case make sure to leave a like and a comment on the video that really helps the channel along also make sure to go to the google forms link in the description if you have a case that you would like me to do a reading on and if you want to be sure that i have done the reading before or not make sure to check my channel if you can find the name of the person because i always put the name of the person in the title so you can easily find whether i've done a reading on them or not in any case thanks for watching hope to see you next time and bye bye for now